The Queen has arrived. Queen Elizabeth stepped out to attend the Royal Ascot in England on Saturday. The Queen was photographed beaming as she rocked a baby blue coat and matching hat with a large pink bow on top. The day was special for the monarch since she had to skip the last Royal Ascot horse race due to the coronavirus pandemic, which is the first time the 95-year-old had missed the event in 68 years. There's another major event for the royal family set to unfold in July when a statue in honor of what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday will be unveiled. Access Hollywood previously spoke with royal expert Charlie Langston, who broke down everything royal fans will need to know about the unveiling. So the statue was going to be unveiled on the 1st of July, which would have been the princess's birthday. The statue was originally commissioned back in 2017 on the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. Harry and William actually commissioned the statue together, and it's been created by the same man who was responsible for putting the Queen's portrait on all of the Queens in the UK. So he has a pretty good resume. We don't exactly know what the statue will look like just yet, but we do know that it's going to be placed in the sunken gardens at Kensington Palace, which is one of Princess Diana's favorite places. She used to love strolling through the gardens when she was living there. Now, it's going to be a fairly small ceremony, I would imagine. Again, it really does depend on what COVID restrictions look like in the UK at the time. But we do know that right now it is expected to just be close family members. I would imagine that William and potentially Harry, if he's able to make it, will say a few words in honor of their mother. And really the purpose of the event is to pay tribute to Diana's legacy, to honor her both as a mother and also as an incredible charity worker, honor all of the work that she did for those amazing initiatives around the world, and also just look back on her life while she was living in the royal family and also beyond that in the years after before her death. 